a lovely spring day. The birds are singing, catkins are in the alder, and I've come to a local pond to have a go at photographing amphibians. There's quite a lot of frogs calling. I think that frogs and toads are perhaps the trickiest subjects to do in the field studio, not least because we're actually shooting through perspex this time because we're photographing them underwater. But there's also problems of any detritus that's in the water shows up very readily in the shots, any bits of hair or splashes in the front pane of perspex. Now I'm trying to reduce the problems a bit by using still mineral water that I've bought from the supermarket, but I've had the bottles in the pond for the last half hour or so, so they get to the same temperature as the frogs have been used to when they're put into the set. Let's go and fill up the tank. Now in this tank I have a partition which is mainly to keep the animal close to the front of it so that I'm shooting through as little water as possible but at the filling stage it's very useful because it prevents water from splashing onto the front pane it just takes uh, longer to, to clean all that up before I start to shoot. So we've got everything set up I've now caught my frog and I want to keep him on set for as little time as possible so let's get him transferred and into the set. I've introduced the frog to the back section of the tank behind the, the partition just to give him a chance to settle down a bit and to well, stop splashing. So I want to again try and keep my front pane as clear as possible. If it does get splashed, I've got little cotton buds that I can go down and pick any uh, bubbles off with or any bits of detritus. I should say too that normally I would do this in the shade if I possibly could. It's not very intense sun in Scotland at this time of year, so the animal's quite uh, quite all right, but I don't really want to have them set for more than about 10 minutes or so. So let's get down to work. Swim to the top. And... Oh yes! <laughs> All these pictures look as if they've been taken in an indoor studio, but for me, one of the real beauties of this technique is it's no distance between this temporary home and his real home, just out in the pond. So let's get him out there. <laughs> 